Ladies and gentlemen, Geek Kim here. Welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is down about 0.8. Market is up about 0.8%. There on the SMI 1.4%. Semiconductor 3.1. Dow flat. Russell 2000 1.5. Transport banks, energy, biotech, healthcare. Red home builders, utility, retail, emerging market, all these sectors are green today. Bitcoin up quite a bit. Gold silver miners are down, dollar down, oil up, treasure bond up. VIX is up about 3%. There, let's do this. We've got the yeah. Spider! 65 minutes are here. So, this is where we closed yesterday. And looks like we actually saw a pretty sizable gap up here this morning, despite the fact that, you know, we've been talking about how the uh, this market is uh, dealing with overbought sentiment. Another thing we've been talking about last week or so is that at 400, we have the boss bears hanging out in that vicinity. We talked about the fact that boss bears are not going to roll down the green carpet and let the bulls come around and push them around because that 400 vicinity 400 or 10 410 is bears territory and i'm going to talk about that i'm going to explain that later on so once we did see a sizable gap up as you can see the bears come down very very quickly shot down the bulls and you can see once we lost that micro term moving average right here you can see that um you know, light blue teal moving average. Once we lost that moving average, you saw that how quickly on that fifth, that fourth hour came down and completely filled that entirety of that up gap. Perfect. And we all know that when the up gap gets, any gap gets filled, if it's an up gap, it's going to act as support. If it's a down gap, it's going to act as resistance. In this case, it was a what? An up gap. So it's going to act as support. And that level coinciding, right? That level coinciding with my uh, rising pivot, which I will show you. I'm going to zoom out later that, you know, rising line there, dotted purple line. So the gap just got filled right here on that fifth, fourth hour, coinciding with that rising pivot dotted line there. And so you can see on that fifth hour, we did see some dead buyers coming in push the price back up but what happened was though once we did lose that micro term what once was acted as so poor is now acting as resistance so we actually did close underneath that micro term moving average you can see a little bit of that upper wick here definitely the buy or the sellers the bears are guarding this micro term and every time when the bulls get trying to get up here you can see the sellers are shooting it down. So let's kind of zoom out here. And there's several things we need to talk about. First of all, we do need to talk about that uh, 400 and 410 vicinity, right? We've been, I've been harping on this level for a couple weeks now, ever since we saw this huge gap up, that the battle, right? The battle, the real battle is going to happen here in this vicinity, right? And you can already see with the today's move. And you thought you thought that with that kind of a gap up, you know, bulls could potentially get up and fill this gap. And you can see they were not. Bulls were not have to fill any of it. Not even a little bit. You can see right here, that's where the gaps, you know, that down gap happened. We were not able to get anything. So buyers were not able to get above, fill any of the down gap. All the boss bears have retreated in this vicinity and they're on a full force right now. They are making sure a big alarm is going off. Bulls are coming in, trying to knock down that front door. And all the bear troops, led by the boss bears, putting everything and making sure that doesn't happen. So that's that 400 resistance, right? And also, once we did see that downturn, what is bulls working with? Bulls working with that rising pivot. And this pivot is currently supporting the bulls, as you can see here. In the last week or so, we've been trying to, buyers are trying to prop themselves up above that three, 
95 rising pivot. And this is the weapon that bulls need to utilize going into remainder of this week. And they must, I mean must, if they fail here, not even a, in, in, in the thing, thing about this gap here, this down gap, you can see there's a pink box. That pink box represents island top reversal, right? This was gap up, this was gap down. So island top reversal down gap is going to be much stronger than just normal down gaps and up gaps. So this is mixed with big down gap and island gap in the middle of it. So it's a stronger down gap. If buyers fail, not even able to, they buy, first of all, buyers need to completely feel this gap, completely. They cannot leave any of it because if you leave, some of it, it's going to act as very, very strong resistance. And obviously, bears don't want to give any, not even a little bit of their real estate. So this is important, important level. We fail from here. If the buyers fall from here, sellers are going to bring it down to 387, 384, and they're going to attack this up gap, right? You see this up gap? That's bulls territory, right? This is a bulls territory. This is bears territory. Bulls right now threatening the bears territory. Bulls cannot push hard to get this down get filled. You will witness bloodbath led by the boss. Bear. Check out that oscillator. So we talked about the fact that the oscillator is working with overboss sentiment here. And you can see in a several occasions when that happened, uh, bulls, basically what this officer is telling us that bulls are running on empty. They are tired. Only question is, can the bulls kind of hold on in this vicinity, maybe 390 or something like that? Kind of let that oscillator reset a little bit. Maybe use this uptrend support on that oscillator and prop itself back up and attack again to fill this down gap. Or are we going to plunge right back down and Bear is going to bring that price back down to about 385 or so? Like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So this level, we can already see that intense battle going on right now today. That was all the shenanigans was all about this morning, man. We see a gap up and then a fade and then get right back up. That's a big battle going on. And I'm going to come back for you. We'll reassess the situation. Enjoy your evening and glove training tomorrow.